In this video, we're going to talk about what causes back pain. So this is the third and final video in a series we did. The first video was about the anatomy of the spine and the function of it. The second video was about the natural alignment of the spine and how falling out of it can cause pain. And now we're going to talk about what that pain is and how that pain occurs. So there's two different types of uh, pain or uh, syndromes we're going to talk about. Postural syndrome, so basically how being in bad posture causes pain, and derangement, which is when there's actually a shift of something out of place in the spine causing pain. So we'll start off with this example. If you take your finger and you bend it back like this and you hold it back here, you may feel a little discomfort at first, but the longer that you hold it in this position, the more that joint right there may start hurting and aching. Now, if you remove your, the pressure from your finger, the pain will go away pretty quickly and you'll be fine after that. However, if you held it in that position for a very long period of time, like let's say an hour, once you take it out of that position, that ache may continue for a while before it goes away. And you can think about that as being in a bad posture, let's say you sit a lot during the day. If you just sat for an hour one day and then didn't sit much for the rest of the week, you wouldn't have too much pain in sitting. But if you sit like that five hours a day at work, every single day, week after week, month after month, that pain is gonna to start to get stronger and stronger. And even when you get out of that sitting posture, you will have that pain there. And that is how posture can cause pain. So let's look at what exactly, when you're in that posture, is being irritated and inflamed. So here we have two vertebrae and a joint. So what happens is mechanical pain is when the area between the joint gets overstretched. So in the spine, we have a ligament on the outside of the disc here. We also have back here some capsules and ligaments. And there are even more ligaments and capsules and muscles all over the back of the joint here. Now, if you're in a posture flexed forward, so if I were to be, let's say, sitting like this, forward, my spine would be flexed forward like this. So what you can see with that is the back of this area is being all the way stretched out. So all these, like we said before, ligaments and capsules are being stretched and over time they become painful. Um, and what happens is over time you can stretch that out so much that they become permanently lengthened and thus making the joint less stable. Now, when you have pain from a postural syndrome, you need to reverse that posture and get yourself out of that posture. What can happen over time from being in that posture is certain muscles and ligaments and tendons can actually tighten up from being in that posture and making it difficult for you to break out of it into the good posture again. But with some persistence and doing the right things, you can make a change which can, which can reverse the pain that you're experiencing. Now, so that was postural syndromes. And the other one I said I wanted to talk about was a derangement, which is essentially a mechanical obstruction in the spine. So if you've been in the posture for a long enough time, that bed hunched forward posture, what can happen is the disc that's between the two vertebrae can start bulging backwards, just like that. And if it starts bulging backwards, you'll see the vertebrae now are no longer aligned. They used to be in perfect alignment, but from being in this forward position for so long, eventually the disc, the inner soft area part of the disc starts bulging backwards. And you can see people who actually have that, it, because it messes up the alignment of the spine, you'll see people who have a bulge in their disc in their back almost stuck in a posture where they feel like they can't even get back up again. And that's because, like the definition of derangement, it's a mechanical obstruction. Something is preventing them from getting back into that normal alignment. So it can cause a lot of pain. If it gets really severe, that bulge can actually pop out into a herniation. And now that can put pressure on the actual nerve. When it does that, it can cause numbness, tingling, pain, down to whatever muscle that nerve innervates. So if it's the low back, 
you can start feeling it into your glute, your leg, all the way down to your foot. And if it's really severe, it can actually cause weakness down there as well. Now, this can be reversed. You just need to get back into a better posture and there's specific exercise you need to try to do. You'd really have to see a skilled physical therapist in order to be diagnosed and given the right exercises. Those exercises we'll go into in another video, but this is more just about how the pain's caused. So just to recap, a postural syndrome, you can be in that bad position for so long that it can cause a disc bulge or herniation, thus becoming a derangement. There's one other way that you can get a disc bulge or a derangement. So, Mike, come on over here. I got my brother working the camera again. So you're gonna stand here and you're gonna pick that up a bad form. Just punch all the way forward. If someone already is prone to a disc bulge and has some postural syndrome already, maybe not, not everything's in alignment, and then they do something like this, that bending forward can cause a big herniation and, or a bulge causing more pain. All right, you can come back up. That's good. So, you know, if you have back pain due to posture, it's kind of your own fault. You know, just from being in a bad posture all the time and not actually figuring out how to correct it. But now that you watch this video, you can do that. But sometimes you can't control it. Sometimes it's picking up something the wrong way, maybe during a golf swing or picking up your grandkids. It could be any number of things that unfortunately causes this type of injury. So the best way to prevent both of them is keep yourself strong and in a good posture. But in the event that you do have pain as a result of either of these, there are things that you can do about it. Getting into a good posture is number one, but there's plenty of other things which I will put together in blog posts, more videos, and um, hopefully some of them can help you.